How's everyone doing today? James Pasca here with Peak Condition, and we are in the Firehouse Fitness facility for another athlete workout. So all you're going to need today is a heavy pair of dumbbells because we're going to be focusing on major muscle groups. So like always, we're going to start with an active warm-up just so we get everything firing properly, and that way we can get the most out of our workout. All right, so first thing I want you to do is inch your hands outward, keep your legs extended until you're into a push-up position. Two little steps, hop into a squat, sit into that, hand down, rotate up, other hand down, rotate up. Same thing, inching out, couple steps, little hop, rotate up, and rotating up. All right, next, we are going right into a side lunge. We're just activating the inside and outside of our thigh. Head in the other direction, and also as you're doing these stretches, each step we take and each stretch we do, we want to try and progressively increase that range of motion. All right, next I want you to just get into a nice wide lunge, outside arm down, rotate up, holding, and we will alternate. Again, nice wide lunge, I'm rotating up, holding that position, and then back up. All right, from here, reverse lunge, so focusing on a little more balance, arms extended, and we're just gonna flex toward that side. And I'm gonna step back up, reverse lunge, arms extended, and I'm flexing. Excellent, next, I want you to just do the trunk rotation. So rotating my trunk, loosening up my spine, let my arms kind of dangle. All right, next, one hand behind your head, so we're flexing the tricep, or I should say stretching the tricep, and then we're also gonna flex our trunk. So we're gonna open up our lats, open up our side of our core there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, excellent. Next, I want you to just do some small circles forward, backward, and we're ready to start. All right, so first thing we are going to do is Again, focusing on major muscle groups, right? We're working on strength, a little bit of power today. So we're gonna go ahead, grab those dumbbells. We're gonna keep them at our side. We're gonna start with our feet about shoulder width apart, and we're just gonna do squats, okay? So for these squats, let me give you the side view. For these squats, some cues to be aware of. Set them down. So some, some things that you should be aware of if you have a mirror in front of you, or you have somebody that you can ask to look at your form. When we're squatting down, we don't want to be hunched over too far, right? So I don't want to round my back forward. Also don't want to have an excessive forward lean, right? So I don't want to be down here like so. And one last one that I've seen some people do is just knees, right? We want to make sure that the knees aren't turning out excessively or inward excessively and same thing with the feet, okay? So for the most part, people's bodies are actually anatomically slightly different. So not everybody's squat is going to be exactly the same. But for the most part, let's be aware of those primary cues. All right, so go ahead, grab the dumbbells. We're gonna start with 20 squats, okay? And again, use the legs to hold those weights and to drive them upward and not putting all that weight into your shoulders. So 20 squats. Here we go. One, two, oh, I feel my glutes firing. Three, four, number five, Six, seven, eight, number nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, four more, 17, 18, 19, and last one, number 20. All right, excellent. Go ahead, set those dumbbells down. And now, since we've worked our quads, our glutes, our hamstring, now we're gonna work the inside and outside of our thighs. So next, we're going to do the lateral leap. So quickly, we'll go over this. I'm driving for my plant leg. I'm exploding toward one side, and on that landing, I wanna make sure I'm absorbing the impact and not just like, slam it down, right? 
Also want to make sure I'm landing with my foot squared up. I want my foot turning outward or my knee turning inward or outward. All right? 20 of these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and number twenty. Good job out there. All right, next. So we hit the legs. Let's hit the upper body. All right, so next thing we're going to do is the chest press. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lay on my back. And when we're doing that press, instead of that 90 degree angle with our arms, we're gonna bring it into about a 45, all right? Just a little less strain on the shoulder, okay? Also, we're gonna hit the tries a little more with that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do 20 presses. Here we go. Two. Also, I'm a little more explosive on this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and number twenty. All right. So the superset after the chest press is we're gonna push up and then we're gonna rotate our body upwards. So I'll give you one little demo here so you know what I'm talking about. So again, I'm pushing up and I'm rotating upward, locking out my tricep, locking out my core, all right? So we're doing 20. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20. Yes, oh, that was great, that was fun. All right, excellent job out there. You know what, I'm gonna grab a sip of water because I'm losing my voice here. All right, excellent job out there. Next, we're hitting the old core. So first we hit the legs, hit the upper body, now we're hitting the core. So what I want you to do, we're gonna do the rocking up core exercise. So rocking back, Rock it back up, legs are extended, drawn up, drawn up. So we have 15 of these. I already did a bunch of these this morning with my clients, so my core's burning. All right, let's go ahead and start. Rocking up. That's one. Two. Number three. Four. That's five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, number ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, and number fifteen. Excellent job out there. Next. We're going to hold the side plank and then we're gonna do the crunch. It's the same thing. So 15 of these. So I'm forming that straight line from here. I can either just draw my knee upward or I can draw it upward and flex. If that's too hard, you can just hold your body up, okay? So 15, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14 in. Number 15, all right. Good job. Go ahead, switch sides, and we'll get into this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Getting tough, nine, 10, five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, in. Number 15, good job out there. All right, next, let me run up here and see what's next. Next, we have the good old deadlifts, all right? So the deadlifts. So for the deadlifts, we'll go over this. Shoulders retracted, okay? Hinge in my hips. Just a slight bend in the knees, but not much. So I'm going to almost form that straight line and then draw back up. And as I do that, I'm working my glutes and my hamstrings primarily. A little bit of lower back. And then as we hold the weights, we kind of draw our shoulders back and activate our upper traps. That's gonna help to take that strain out of your shoulders, right? So I'll grab the dumbbell so you can see what I'm talking about. So sometimes people will be doing these and they'll kind of like shoulders around and they'll start to round their back like this. And it's not good because then they're straining their lower back. So if we draw back, activate, that's going to subtract that bad form. All right, so here we go, 15 of these. Number one, two, three. Also, I'm keeping the neutral grip. Also, you could do the pronated grip if that helps. I'll do the pronation. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and number 15. Oh, that was tough. All right, next we have one dumbbell. And we're just gonna hold it, add a little extra weight, and we're going to do a side lunge. Boom, push back, okay? So 10 on each side. And on that side lunge, lunge foot's at about a 45 degree angle, plant leg is extended, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and number 10, other side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, number seven, three more, eight, Nine and whew, number 10, all right. Good job out there. All right, so just like the first trio of exercises, now we are hitting the arms. So next we have the tricep extension. So for this, we're going to lie on our back. <clears throat> we're gonna grab the dumbbell and we're going to extend and then flex. So if you can't get a good grip on the ends of the dumbbell, just as I did the little demo there, you can hold it, let me just grab it so you see what I'm talking about. We can hold it like so, and I, you can actually stand or sit and do that, all right? I'm gonna lie on my back, I'm gonna grab it by the side, do that tricep extension, okay? So we have 20 of these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, halfway there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Great job out there. I'm feeling my triceps burning. Look at that. Yeah, all right. 
good job. So next, the superset is we're going to do the overhead press. So for that press, we're gonna have the neutral grip. I'll give you the side angle here. And I'm just gonna press right in the midline of my body, maybe slightly behind, but I don't want my arms too far forward or too far back, okay? So overhead press, we have 10 of these. They're heavier, so this is tough. Here we go. Also, you can use the little drive from your legs if you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. That was hard with those heavy dumbbells. You need some water after that. All right, good job out there if you're still with this. All right, awesome. Next, we are going to hold the plank. We're gonna draw our knees forward. So let me give you a little demo here. So we're gonna hold that forearm plank. We're gonna draw one knee forward, other knee forward. That's one. We have 10 of these. Let's not delay, here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and number 10. All right, next we're flipping over and we're going to do the alternating crunch. Alternating crunch. So we're doing 20. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and oh, number 20. Oh, my core is burning. Partially because I actually just had a nice big breakfast before I came discussing business with a fellow business partner. So I had a big veggie omelet and some pancakes. So I feel that rumbling around in my belly, but hey, whatever, we're gonna do it anyway. All right, good job everybody. Guess what? We're back at the top. What's well, back at the top? Yes, we're back at the top. So we're gonna go ahead, grab those dumbbells and we're starting off with those squats, 20 squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and number 20. All right, sit this down. Ooh, knocked over the water bottle, that's all right. All right, next, we're doing the lateral leap. 20 of these, ooh, that was tough. But, you know what, let's do it. Let's get into that superset. Here we go, 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and number twenty. Woo. 
is tough. My heart's racing. All right. Good job, everybody. Next, we have that rocking core exercise. The rocking core exercise. Gonna go ahead, get in that B position. And we're gonna start rocking back. Back up. One. 15 of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen in. Oh, number fifteen. All right. So the superset is the side plank crunches. Fifteen of those. We are not giving our body a rest today. Let me tell you. Fifteen. Go ahead, get up in the side plank, and we will start. One. Two. Piece of lint. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, other side. You know what I realized? I forgot to do the chest press and the push-ups too, so we'll have to do that after this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and number 15. All right, go ahead, grab those dumbbells, because we forgot to do this one. Chest press, chest press. Man, my legs are tired. My hip flexor is actually a little tired, to be honest with you. But I'm still gonna push, as will you. Here we go, chest press. Lean it back. 45 degree angle, 20 presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and Number 20. Woo! Good job out there. Next, we have the good old push ups. We're pushing up, rotating our body up. There's 20 of these. And they're tough after the chest press, that superset. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, my arms, thirteen, fourteen, keep pushing, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and ah, number 20. Whew, that was tough. Wipe off the sweat. Yeah, good job out there. I'm gonna grab some water, because this is tough. This is not easy, and I need the water. All right, excellent job out there. Deadlifts. Deadlifts are next. So again, I'm grabbing those dumbbells, shoulders retracted, just form that straight line, and back up. Deadlifts, here we go. Let's not delay. 15 of these, and we are off. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. How's it going? I'll feel free to walk that through. Ten. You can walk through, don't worry. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And last one. Number fifteen. All right. Set one of those down. Feel free to play music and stuff also, don't worry. All right, so next we're drawing the dumbbell against our chest. We have that side lunge. So again, 45 degree angle with my foot. Plant leg is extended. 10 on each side. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Number four. Five. Six. Seven, keep going. Eight, two more. Number nine, and last one. Number 10, switching your sides, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five more. Six, seven, eight, Number nine and number 10. Ooh, I know you've got to be sweating after all those exercises, but guess what? We're on the home stretch. Stick with me. All right. Next, we are going to grab one of those dumbbells. We're lying on our back. We have the tricep extension. So, Ken, depending on the grip you want, you can either hold the ends of the dumbbell or we can hold it over our head. I'm going to grab the ends. Work on my grip strength a little bit. And go ahead and get after it. All right. So we have 15. Here we go. One, two, actually it's 20, I lied. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Keep your core nice and tight. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and number 20. Feeling the burn, but I like it. All right, so we are going to go ahead, grab the individual dumbbells, and we have the overhead press. So again, this one is tough, the heavier dumbbells. Also, it's tough for me in particular because I'm still recovering from an injury, getting hit by that car. If you follow me, you've known about this a year ago, believe it or not. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Oh, number 10. All right, good job out there. Almost done. Next. Two more exercises, plank, drawing our legs in. It's forearm plank, and we are drawing our legs in. 10 of these. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine in. Whew. Number 10. All right, last thing. Alternating crunch. 20 of these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, halfway there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and number 20. Woo! Great job, everybody. You did it. All right, so we're going to do a nice little cool out here. First thing I want you to do, feet 
wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointing outward. Let's get into a nice deep squat. Face the elbows outward. One hand down, rotate up. Other hand down, rotate up. All right, then you can just stand up, kind of shake it out. Same thing. Feet are turned outward, sitting into that squat. One hand down, rotate up. Other hand down, rotate up. All right, good job. Next, we're going to lie down, bending the bottom leg, extending the back leg. Now we're gonna reach forward. So I should feel the stretch on the outside of my thigh. So abductor and IT band. If you want to increase that stretch, go ahead, inch your hand underneath your arm. That's gonna be a little more intense, a little more release. All right, switching sides, reaching forward. Inch underneath. All right, good, from there. Lie on your stomach, looking one direction, arms extended, drawing our leg up and across, holding. And we're back down slowly, switching sides. And slowly back down. Next, hands at your side, driving off the elbows and triceps, extending your spine, hold. Slowly lower, draw up, hold. From there, feet together, knees nice and wide. Kick your butt back, extend your arms. Now we're gonna rotate toward one side while we're still leaning back. This is just releasing the lats on that side. It's releasing the rotator cuff. Other side. From there, I want you to just, legs extended, inch your butt up, cross one leg over, get that calf stretch. Switching sides. From there, walk into a nice wide lunge. Rotate upward, hold. Same thing, switched legs. And we're done. It's a great job out there. If you stuck with me, today we focused on strength. Again, major muscle groups. We started with our legs. We worked the different planes. Then we worked our upper body and then we hit our core. So that way we had time for those different body parts to rest so that we could push up that heavier weight. Again, the reason why we cycle through heavier weights, stability stuff, anaerobic exercises, is so that we're constantly getting better results. If we always did the same thing, you're gonna plateau, and you're not gonna get any results. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like and share. And always remember, you don't have to be an athlete, train like an athlete. Let's do it.